tonight, exclusive new video capturing the Prime Minister's terror as she's dragged through the Australia Day protest. A teenager tasered after staging his own crime spree north of Brisbane. An emotional return from Afghanistan for hundreds of Queensland diggers. And the world's best players prepare to clash in the men's final at the Australian Open. This is 7 News with Sharon Gadella. Good evening. New video has emerged showing for the first time how the Prime Minister stumbled and nearly fell as she was dragged by police to escape Australia Day protesters. The video was obtained exclusively by 7 News and Aboriginal activists claim it proves their protests weren't a threat a to Gold the Coast leaders. couple has had a rude awakening after a stolen car careered into their Ormo home this morning. For the latest, we're joined by reporter Bianca Stone, live from our Gold Coast Bureau. Bianca, have police found the driver? Sharon, police believe they have. Late this afternoon, they confirmed they're interviewing a teenage girl. Another is still on the run. Tonight in 7 News Flashback, television news presentation over the decades. As you can see, we have a new set tonight, very different from when broadcasting began here in 1959. We're on the air, we're on the air, our program has begun. When television began, programming was live and local. The studio was used for so many different shows. When it was news time, a map was simply wheeled in as a background. Brian Carl was Seven Brisbane's first newsreader. It still was a whole new world. Next, two readers were introduced. Then in 1975, Brisbane converted to colour television. The set was basic. So was the weather presentation. Sydney is expecting a windy day, windy also in Canberra. Now the Ipswich and Toowoomba forecast. <laughs> I think we just dropped the camera over there. That's the funniest thing I've seen in the studio for a long while. Reflecting life in Queensland, everything got bigger in the 1980s. Studios continued to become more elaborate. Looking back, they provide a snapshot of what was trendy at the time. The colours and hairstyles. Technology became part of the background. For the past six years, this has been where we present the news from. But six months ago, work began on a fresh look. In the old days, models were built out of wood. Now the set workers create in 3D, able to view the studio from any angle. Next, the design was off to the workshop. On Friday night at the end of the news, the renovation began, working through the night to pull out the old set, then installation of the new, plus lighting checks and rehearsals ready for tonight. Construction of the new set took most of this weekend, but for the home of Flashback, which exists virtually, it's a case of out with the old and in with the new. Hmm, not bad. The last word goes to our first newsreader, who did the job without bells and whistles. The news is the, the star attraction. Ah, yes, it's all about the news and the sport. And welcome to the new set, Shane. Sharon, thanks. And thankfully, some of those hairstyles have changed too. Hello, everyone. We head back to Pat Welsh at the Australian Open next after Victoria Azarenka screams through the women's decider. While drama reigns at the Australian track titles. As reported earlier, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal are about to square off at the Australian Open decider. Pat Welsh is at Melbourne Park and Paddy, I can't imagine it'll be as lopsided as last night. No, Webby, I agree. It was a comprehensive triumph for Victoria Azarenka and the women's decider. Her first Grand Slam win, one to save her, a straight sets blitz over Maria Sharapova, 6-3, 6 love. I'd say definitely thanks, Paddy. Well, India could have more headaches with Australia welcoming him back and inform Brett Lee for Wednesday's 2020. The veteran start in Sydney's Big Bash title win. Two wickets in two in overs with the sixes hip injuries. Time. Looks like it could have been a whole heap worse, Shan. Yes, they're very lucky. Mm. Thanks, Webby. The weather is next and Angie, at last the rain has started to ease. That's right, Sharon. The heaviest falls have passed, but it's still going to be a soggy week in Queensland. Details are next.
Hello. Well, the system that's caused this endless rain has moved south of the border, but not without leaving some more very large totals behind overnight. We had falls at the trend, tops warming to around average. Not perfect, but a lot better, Sharon. Any improvement will be appreciated. <laughs> Thanks, Ange. And that's seven years from now. From all the team, have a very good night.